An Xbox subscription, that's the new thing from Microsoft. Now I'm not talking about Xbox Live or any software subscription, I'm talking about a subscription of literal console hardware, where you pay a monthly thing and then you get the console as part of that, and that's basically the idea behind Xbox's new program called Xbox All Access. Now it's not exactly a subscription, there's many caveats to that that we're gonna get into in detail, and it is kind of important, but if this is something you thought you might be interested in, or in the future, then stick around. The idea behind this is you will pay a monthly fee, and then in exchange you'll get either an Xbox One S or an Xbox One X, depending on which one you choose. You'll also get two years of Xbox Live Gold, and two years of the Xbox Game Pass. That's all included in that monthly fee. So the appeal here is that you don't have to pay for the console and the subscriptions and everything up front. And also, apparently this is only available in store, not online for some reason. But while this may seem like a subscription, and I even kind of called it that towards the beginning, you really can't call it that because it's more of like a loan. You're basically buying the console and the subscription to the Xbox One Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold, you're buying those things outright. After you sign up for this, you're committed to that 24 month thing and you have to pay that back, but you then immediately own that console. You immediately get those two years as if you had paid in full for them, you just have to continue paying back the fee over the course of 24 months. And they're doing this using Dell's service. They have a Dell preferred account where you basically get a line of credit, pretty much a loan. And then, so Microsoft gets all their money at first and then Dell will supposedly, when you go to sign up, they'll run a credit check and you have to apply for it and then you're gonna be paying back Dell, not Microsoft. So it's not like you're renting this console. It's not like you can just cancel it and send the console back and then not have to pay and lose access to the subscriptions. Like you have to continue, you can't cancel it all. But like I said, you do actually own the console once you begin this thing and there's a couple implications for that. First of all, on the downside is you get the same warranty. Like if your Xbox breaks after the one year warranty normally that you get, then you have to repair it yourself, even though you're still paying for it. So you're kind of screwed there. But also you could theoretically just sell your Xbox immediately after you get it. I don't know why you would do that. You kind of, you can't use the rest of the subscriptions, but if you wanted to do that, you could. So all this brings up the question though, is it worth it? And I think it could be worth it depending on which bundle you get, either the S or the X, and of course also your individual situation. So why don't we run the numbers a little bit and see. First of all, we have the Xbox One S bundle, and this is gonna be $22 a month around there. So over the course of the 24 month loan, basically you're gonna be paying a total of $527.76. Now, if you were to buy all those things individually, meaning the console, the Game Pass, and Gold, you'd be paying 120 for the gold over two years, that's assuming you pay the two yearly ones. You'll also be paying $240 for the Xbox Game Pass if you paid monthly, and then about $300 for the Xbox One S. So if you were to pay all these individually, you'll be looking at about $660 total. So considering that, it is actually significantly cheaper even over the course of 24 months if you were to do this all access pass. Now with the Xbox One X, it's a little bit of a different story. So that's gonna be $35 a month for the all access, and that's gonna cost you $840 over the 24 months. Now, if you were to get it individually, again, it's 120 for the gold, 240 for the Xbox Game Pass, and $500 for the Xbox One X, and that's gonna be a total of $860. So 840 with the Xbox All Access, 860 if you were to buy it separately, that's not really any savings at all. So with that, literally the only advantage is the no upfront cost, which for some people might be very significant, but even for the Xbox One S, I mean, saving $100 over two years, that really a big deal? And also keep in mind, even if you were to get these other things anyway, you're still gonna be paying a monthly fee. So if you were to pay for the yearly gold, that's $60, or you could do $10 a month, 
but then of course that's like double the price and then the game pass is about what 10 bucks a month as well so overall most of those savings are going to be for the console so if you can afford the console already then you may as well just buy the console and if you can't afford to buy the console then you might not be wanting to get a loan for it you know what i mean so it's kind of like i don't really know who this is for besides people who you know they know they can afford it but just don't want to pay up front but then you don't have the option to quit at all i would almost rather buy the console outright and then have the option to quit the xbox game pass or the xbox live and then if you quit that pretty early on you're going to be saving more than you would save if you were doing the all access thing. Another big thing to remember is within two years, there might be new generation consoles. So you'll still be paying for the old one even if you decide to upgrade. And that's gonna be either for Xbox, whether you wanna get the new Xbox or maybe even PlayStation, you realize the next PlayStation is even better and then you're kind of stuck with the Xbox paying for it. What I think would be pretty interesting actually is if there was a program where you could pay continuously and then just get a new Xbox whenever it's available. They'll like you ship it back and they send you a new Xbox. That's kind of like what they do with the iPhone upgrade program. Apple does have something like that where you pay monthly fee and then you get a new iPhone whenever it comes out. Of course, there's a new iPhone every year and Xbox does not release a new Xbox every year, but they have been releasing it. You know, they've been making new ones like the Xbox One S, then the X, and then apparently pretty soon they're gonna have the next generation. It could be possible that they start making a new Xbox slightly upgraded every year, who knows? And I think if they did do that, they probably would do something like the iPhone upgrade program. We'll have to see, obviously. So I guess that's all there is to talk about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you wanna keep watching, here are some more videos. So again, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.